speech from a successful club series entitled Creating the Best Club Climate. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> We love it. Why do you attend Toastmasters every Thursday morning here? I know that we're not here to bandoogle on a weekly basis. Could it be the food, or could it be what we are receiving? How do we create the best club climate? Now this morning, I'd like to go over three areas that once rolled together really produce why we show up on a weekly basis to have fun. Those three areas are, of course, to set a good example for others, two, welcoming, welcoming, rolling out the welcome mat for our guests, and then three, encouraging our current members. Let's start with the first, setting a good example for others. For those of you who are new, you probably know that we like to have fun. However, we are here to work. You only get out of it what you put into it. I'd like to suggest that, I. by the way, I love our new website. Absolutely love our new website. And I love the resources and tools that it offers. However, it's only as good as we make it. Please confirm your roles on a weekly basis. That should go without saying because it does help. And also, be on time. Better yet, show up 15 minutes early so that we can take care of breakfast. We have a wonderful venue, and breakfast is included in that venue, and we appreciate it. Don't you just wake up hungry on Thursday mornings? <laughs> I do. I don't make breakfast usually until 8.30 or 9. But it's important that we arrive early so that we can take care of the ordering, so there's less distractions during the meeting. Once you arrive, offer to help. I'm sure Kathy would appreciate it. If so we had somebody maybe putting ballots on the table or maybe the postmaster comes in and they can concentrate on something and we can pass out the agendas when we're here. Another way that we can set a good example during the meeting is to be attentive. It takes a lot of courage to stand up here and handle either a segment of the meeting or to be the speaker. There's all kinds of things going through the speaker's mind or the postmaster. We're not really going to wonder what's going through Chase's mind. <laughs> but I do know from experience in my 11 years in Toastmasters, it takes a lot of courage. I have seen people almost pass out. Therefore, wouldn't it be nice if we gave them our full attention? <clears throat> One of the areas of improvement that we can make in our club is by doing this. Over the last few months, I've seen a lot of chatter in reference to when somebody else is up front. It may not always be a speaker, <clears throat> excuse me, but there does seem to be a lot of chatter. I just wanted to share with you that it does affect the speaker. I know that this is also, this master is supposed to emulate real world experience, and we don't have that type of control in the environment. However, in here, Please try to be as attentive and quiet as possible. Thank you. The second way <clears throat> that we can create the best club climate is, of course, welcoming them out, rolling out our welcome mat for our guests. I don't know why I'm having such a trouble saying that. But we love guests. <clears throat> We love making fun of guests. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> I've had so much fun with you this morning. I know. But we also want to encourage our guests to come back. And Yelena, I'm very glad that you came back. I didn't get a chance to meet you the first time or you, Joanne, but I'm very glad that you've returned. But new members are the cornerstone of Toastmasters. Those of us who have been here a while, I love the energy and the new ideas that come from new members. Therefore, anything that we can do as a group to welcome our guests and make them really feel at home is so important. And Joel, please don't worry about English as a second language. Those of us who grew up here still are having trouble mastering the language. <laughs> You're quite all right. 
Now, I know that most of the times when we have a fluctuation in our roster, it's usually because someone has had a life change or a schedule change and they can no longer attend, which is the other reason that new members are always so important. Because even though we have a strong and vibrant club now, there were times when we barely could fill the seats in this room. Mm -hmm. And I think that by establishing the club climate, it's the best that we can be. And you know the articulators are the best, right? Do I need to say anything else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We break all barriers. We break all records. I'd like to see us be really the best in our district. We already have so much recognition from our peers. I love that about this club. The third way that we can create the best club climate is by showing our existing members that we care. We do dole a lot on our guests and our new members because like a seedling, we want to encourage growth in the beginning. But after that member is self-sufficient, we can't turn our back on them. Toastmasters is a process. It's an educational process. And there are 10 speeches <clears throat> for that first accomplishment. If somebody's midway through, that needs to be celebrated. I love the 10 speech. I know Nell, you just recently received yours. I was very excited. Kathy, also. Thomas, who's not here. We, we celebrate. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it was underneath his invisibility cloak. I didn't see that. But these graduations of sorts are amazing for our club, and they need to be celebrated. I like how our evaluations are handled in a professional manner in which that the speaking environment is evaluated and not necessarily the speech for the person and that's very encouraging as well and one of my favorites in this club is fostering camaraderie sometimes it can get a little out of hand but i think we're a morning club and we have all this bent up energy <laughs> that it has to come out eventually but one of the things I appreciate the most about this club is that there are no cliques. Everybody just loves on everybody else. We all have fun with each other. We, we miss you, Reed, when you're not here. We really, really do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so important for everybody to, to be respectful of everyone, of everybody's backgrounds, and also of their speech content. And I have to tell you, from somebody who's traveled to a lot of different clubs, that's not always the case. We have a lot going for this club. And the three areas that Toastmasters outlines to create the best club climate is, I want to recap, setting a good example, of course, rolling out that welcome mat for our guests because we love you, and also the showing existing members that we care. This is such a strong club, and I absolutely love it from the bottom of my heart. Our club does have a lot going for us, and I want you to ponder, or after you ponder why you do show up every Thursday morning, also ponder what you can do to contribute to the club climate.